it's me again Chris and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use this excellent voicing plus inventory template because I updated this and I'm going to share it to you guys it's actually available on my channel and you can download it for free just click the link in the description box below so this is what I added the login feature the administrator and user login feature and the main purpose of this feature is you can allow someone to do the invoice generation for you without worrying about the losing of important data in your inventory sheet and of course if you have a lot of sensitive data and formula you don't want to override then this feature is helpful for you so this is how it works when you log in as the administrator so the default username is admin small caps and then the password is 2019 so since we log in as the administrator we can access all those sheets that you have been created in this workbook while if you log in as the user so let's log out from this first so we can try to log in as the user okay and the default username for this is also the user small caps and then the password is also 2019 Okay, so since we log in as a user, we can only access all those sheets that are allowed for us to use by the administrators. So for now, we have only two sheets, the stock out and the sales invoice. Now, if you're going to change the login details, go back to the administrator because we cannot access the admin sheet in here. So let's log out from this. And, and then let's try to log in as the administrator again okay so admin password is 2019 and then go to the admin sheet here okay so this is the list of our currently available sheets in this workbook and this is our administrator codes the user access codes and this is where we're going to allow our user to access our sheet so let's try to add another user here so let's say user number two and yeah we're going to use the same pass password and then just to take note here in the password that you cannot use a letter or a special character so you can only use a number with a maximum length of 10 digits and then here let's allow our user number to access the sheet sales invoice and then let's try to log in as a user number two so let's log out from this and we're going to log in as the user number two okay so user two and then the password 2019 so there you go as you can see this user number two can only access the sales invoice sheet and the rest of the sheet are protected from this user and that's it for today guys if you need an invoice like this or this is your first time to use this template and you don't know how to use the other features i already have a tutorial on how to use it just click the link in the description box below and thank you guys for watching see you in my next video